Okay, so in this one we're told that the wavelength is equal to 436 nanometers, which we'll need to get it into a frequency. So the frequency is equal to C over the wavelength, which is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over the wavelength, which is equal to 436 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And so this is equal to 6.881 times 10 to the 14 hertz or inverse seconds. Okay, and we're also told that we're releasing 4.00 times 10 to the 20 photons per second. And then we're asked to calculate the power. So power is equal to the energy over the time. Now the energy will be equal to the number of photons times the energy per photon and then we need to divide by time so over time so we've got the number of photons over time that's 4.00 times 10 to the 20 so what we need to calculate is the energy per photon and each photon has an energy equal to hf so <laughs> E is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 times 6.881 times 10 to the 14 and this is equal to 4.559 times 10 to the minus 19 okay so now we can put everything together this part is equal to our 4.00 times 10 to the 20 and then energy per photon that's the 4.55 9 times 10 to the minus 19 and solving that on the calculator we end up with 182 watts and that's to three significant figures because 436 nanometers and the 4.00 times 10 to the 20 were both given to three significant figures okay so that was part a part b then a bit of revision we're asked to calculate the intensity at two meters so the intensity is related to the power divided by the area and because it's spreading out isotropically through space this time is spreading out over the surface of a sphere so that area is the surface area of a sphere so this is equal to 182 over 4 pi times r squared which is 2 squared and so solving this, we end up with 3.63 watts per meter squared.